down to our back with some more zero sieverts. And I think I figured out what I'm supposed to be doing here a little bit better. One, get all the quests you can. We want to knock out these quests, and we want to avoid getting into, into any big firefights, because then we just die. We, we literally will just die constantly. So we want to go in here and basically knock out all the quests we've got and not worry too much about getting involved in large firefights. If we do, you know, run away is our preferred method. First thing we want to do, crack open the map. Where are we? We're right here. The... This is probably part of a quest, I'm going to presume, but normally what I would do is head straight towards one of these green areas and try and secure an exit. That's probably the most important thing. Oh, great, fitness level 6. Let's worry about stats later. More important, let's head into this area. Alright, we're in it. Ooh. Yeah, let's not go in there. Where is this researcher who's gone missing? I think that's what we're here for. We could also go in and grab those crystals, though honestly they're worth about 400 and the amount of radiation you get exposed to doing it I don't think is worth it, especially with how, well, we don't have the armor to tank that. Let me keep searching around here, maybe there's a body around here somewhere. Oh my god, there's loot holes! I used to think these were traps, but if you step near them, it's actually a loot hole. Uh, yeah, I'll take it. What is this? Scrap food? Uh, a multi-plug. Hey, we've been looking for those. Perfect! All right, let's get on with it. Oh, let me make sure my both my weapons are loaded. Yes, they are. You know what? I couldn't find anything in that circle, so I'm just gonna run away. Ooh, medical supplies. Yes, please. Oh, scrap medicine. That's where you find it. I've been keeping an eye out for that stuff. I haven't found it yet. And that's good because we sort of ran out of bandages. You know, things have been getting pretty rough. All right, what do we got in here? Nothing worth keeping. All right, let's start heading towards the exit. Top left, you want to skirt the town. You don't really want to go into the town, not at this level. We are way too weak, and there's just way too many people in there normally. You want to go messing with the townsfolk. Well, are the bandits hold up in there? You're going to need to be taking on, what, five, ten guys? That's probably not a good idea. No one in here. Ooh, there is a little loot zone right there. Let's go grab that. I wish I had known about these earlier. This is... This is good stuff. Bullets. Is that wine? Red wine. Actually, what's the... Increases... Oh! I saw you out of the corner of my eye, buddy. Yeah, we'll grab all of that. What are you? Papers? We're gonna take everything for now and start legging it. And there's a rabbit. Ooh. Perfect. The reason we want all the rabbits is it's part of one of the quests. Oh my god, our inventory is almost full and we're not even close to the exit yet. This is good, but in a bad way. What do you got for us? Hey, you. Uh, who are you? Oh yeah, I think we've met this guy before. Wait, no. I've met this guy before, but then I died. You have a task. Meat for Igor. Could you bring me ten pieces of raw meat? You'd be doing me a big favor. You know what? Sure. How much have we got already? One, two, three, four, five, six... We could hit 10. Eh, I probably have to dump this tire, though. I'm not even sure what that tire does. Mm. Let's go find some meat for, for Igor in there. One more rabbit's down. You got any meat on you, buddy? You got fur. That's fine by me. Oh. made out of titanium? Never mind, you know what? Much better. Rifle for animals. Yeah, which reminds me. Hey, what are you doing? Damn it. And we'll use the assault rifle for people. Okay, wolf. Oh, god damn it. I'm looking for meat. Oh, that's why they wouldn't die. <laughs> <laughs> there was seven of them there. You know, I think we're going to make our meat quota. What the hell? There's a bandit underneath all of these guys. Um, root juice? Nice. Okay, what is this? Papers? No, I need to get rid of some weight. How do we have so much weight on us already? Like, some of this stuff must weigh a ton. Hmm. That red wine does look rather tempting. Hmm. Let me do some inventory management here. 
all of our missions are done. Uh, we need to get out of here before we die. Oh, we gotta get all the way over there. So, let's go reasonably quickly. Oh, rabbit. Yeah, let's grab that while we're here. This is part of some sort of quest. I can't remember if it's the fur we want or the meat. Damn it, well... If it's the meat, we're not taking it. Pelts. Ten rabbit pelts. We just need one more. If we see a rabbit on the way back, great. Everything else, we ignore. Alright, anything else out here want to try and kill us today? Honestly, I'm a little bit shocked we haven't run into any people with guns yet. But hey, we're not at the extraction point yet. Oh, great. Yeah, that looks like uh, one of those bandit things. We're going to take a wide berth. We are fully loaded. We don't need to be getting into any... Fo oh, God. Yep, they're every side of us. Keep running. We want to avoid all of them. Getting into a fight right now would be a waste. Where are we at? We're almost there. Go, 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 go. Watch out for the flaming things over there. Excellent. Well, there we go. A successful run where we didn't die. Or it would have been. There we go. Well, all we did was we took a nap, refilled our hunger meters, sold off some junk, banked the rest of it for later, and now it's straight back to the forest. That's kind of what you want to do. Get in there, do a minor bit of looting, and then get out. You want to sort of level up and knock out all those quests if at all possible. Those quests progress you and gain us access to better armor and weapons. We can't really clear out the entire zone unless we've got better armor and a better weapon. The, the stuff we have right now is it's just too low level. And all the weapons we find are basically sabotaged or they're so degraded that you can't use them or you keep getting misfires or jams. Um, all right, so we want to go to there and to over there. Okay, we're going to avoid, remember, you want to avoid here and here. This is a lumber mill full of bad people. This is a town full of bad people. So we're going to head there and then straight on to the next spot. And we're going to keep an eye out for loot holes and, well, any good stuff along the way. I'm not against getting into a fight with one group of people, but no more than that. It's too risky. Yeah, there is a rabbit. Perfect. Those dogs are alive. Very alive. Okay, let's grab some meat while we're here. We might run into that guy again, so... Yeah, we'll, we'll take the meat with us. And we're heading this direction. Sprint, sprint, sprint. Eyes on swivels. Eyes on swivels. No, we're at the edge of town. Keep moving. I do not want to get involved in that. That place is always death. Trying to clear it out is... Well, it's possible. It's just incredibly hard with the gear we have. Could probably reload right about now before I get myself into any more trouble. Hey, I think that is the final piece of rabbit fur we need to knock out that quest. Yes, it is. Oh, lumber mill. Yeah, sounds like the lumber mill, all right. Let's avoid the lumber mill. The lumber mill is a very unfriendly location. Oh, there's an orange dot down here. I'm going to find out what it is. Oh, it's this guy again, I think. We've done a quest for him before, so now... Same guy, yeah? You got a task? No! Damn it! Well, never mind. Let's see what loot he's got, though. Oh! That bottle of rotten water. Not great. Righty-o! Uh, worthless rubles, uh, a plug, a whole bunch of stuff. We'll take the rotten water. Turns out you can turn it into clean water with stuff. Worst... Worstel? Okay. Honestly, half this stuff I don't think I've even seen before. Rotten salami. You know what? We'll take everything. What are you? Engine oil? That sounds entirely useless. But hey, it's an apocalypse. We'll take everything. Uh, thank you for that. Turns out that guy's not a repeatable quest. I was hoping he was. So that guy's always going to show up on the map now then? I think because we completed the, the quest the first time, he'll show up every time. That's good to know. Okay, there's... something's been in here. This bandit's dead. I don't know what killed him. I'm not gonna ask. I'll take all your gear, though. You are a Mosin... Macant. Oh, okay. Right. Gotcha. 
Hey, we'll get rid of that. Uh, damn it, I gotta get rid of some junk. Don't pull the meat. Don't want it. And let's get moving. Where are we headed? For whatever that giant yellow circle is up there. Ooh. I do like the green one. The green one's actually usually far more attainable. Alright, we'll wait until the, uh, the spouting out dries down. Or maybe it won't, actually. Never mind. If there's something too close to it, it's not worth it. You'll go in there and you'll take way too much damage. We're just gonna take a wide berth. As far as I'm aware, the green ones aren't worth that much either. Ooh. What have you got going on in here? Or we could just have a quick snack. Let's uh, consume those wurzels. They'll get us up to a full health or full energy or full food. Uh, we've no way of changing our thirst. We're already well rested. Oh, we're slightly irradiated. How did that happen? Okay, this is minus. This decreases our thirst, decreases our fatigue, and reduces radiation. Let's have a nice cuppa. There you go. Oh, wow, it is only a tiny amount of the radiation. Do I have some anti-rad meds? Yes, I do, but so far the radiation's not causing any serious problems, so we'll worry about that later. Oh, damn it. See, that looks like a place where bad guys hang out. Let's make sure there's no other bad guy places around. Hey, there's a crow eating something over there. It looks like it might be one of the bad guys. In fact, I think both the bad guys are already dead. Now that's making me even more nervous. Who's killing all the bad guys before I can kill them? Not complaining too much. Uh, what do you got? More bandages? Great. Uh, I would like to take the spider with us, but unfortunately, I don't think we can. Lighter, more bullets. Damn it, already overloaded again. Dump the soap. I mean, it's the apocalypse. No one's going to be, you know, it'll be fine. Okay, it's the last mile. Don't get distracted. Don't do anything stupid. All right, we should be coming up on the home zone. There it is. Oh, okay, so this is the red gem area always. It's not actually to do with a mission. It's to do with the red gem. Well, I don't need any red gems. Let's head to the exit. Whew. And we got all of our gear. We're sorted. That's two successful runs in a row. I'm not saying it's a record, but it's very rare for me. Very, very rare. All right, Doc. I swear we have it this time. For tasks, pelts. Uh, we will gain the reward. We're going to go with two bottles of clean water. Thank you kindly. And 1,500 rubles and 35 experience. Nice. And for tasks, do you have... Okay, no data is active. Oh, pelts too. Find a wolf. Huh. Detect eight wolf pelts and eight boar pelts. That we can do. We shall accept it. In exchange, we get an MRE. Hmm. Chocolate bars. Pasta. Okay, I... Don't know why I'd want the pasta, to be honest. And generic cola. Maybe you can cook the pasta up. Well, we shall accept that most difficult quest of yours. All right. Give me a few minutes to sort out our inventory. It's time we started knocking out more of those quests. I keep getting distracted and going off on, well, just random hunts. What we want to do is find the analyzer. And also we have to search a building in the south of the village for the barman. South of the village, at least, is a location, so we're going to head that way, try not to get shot by the bandits occupying the place, and hopefully find the building. The correct one. Why is that thing purple? Never mind, I think that's a metal crate. Okay, we need to go this direction, stay away from the metal crate because it's radioactive. Okay, we're coming up on the edge of the village. Anyone around? Usually the bandits are closer to the center. Hey, is that actually... Huh. I didn't realize that was a lootable box. Toilet paper. Why, thank you. I think I will. Valuable item. Completed. Wait. What? Was that valuable item? Oh. The valuable item was the toilet roll? Well, okay then. That was actually far easier than I thought it was going to be. Never mind. Um... Well, bully for the barman. Ooh, water. Hell yeah. It's too... Like, like, at this point, I'm almost willing to just run away. That, that's been enough looting. Uh, let's see what else we're facing here. No one's in there. Let's just go in and grab it. What the hell? 
bandage. You can see that one over and that thing that's bleeding. That means we'd bleed out if we didn't tend to it. Oh. Well, that was exhilarating. Uh, I can hear someone moving. Uh, let's reload while we're in here. Ooh, maybe a medic tent? Uh, we haven't really lost enough health to use our medical tent just yet. Agree. Who is doing that? Okay. I say we sprint. Run, 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 run. Not get involved in whatever they're smoking. It's just, uh, we're too weak to be getting involved in a firefight right about now. Alright, let's see. What's the closest way out? We've already completed one quest. Oh, it's over there. Fine, we'll have to go by the lumber mill. That's going to be incredibly dangerous. Or we go over there. Both of those are very long distances to travel. Yeah, let's get moving. No point hanging around. Hopefully we can find a few loot spots along the way. I'll keep an eyeball out. Boars. Damn it. I shouldn't be wasting our good ammo on this. Uh, where is our bad ammo? Yep. Yeah, well. Shoulda known. Hunter... Tif ah, damn you. Okay, we have to go back and get the toilet paper. God damn it. <laughs> I love this game because I hate this game. I, I, it's a love-hate relationship, you know? It's, it's Stockholm Syndrome. All right, let's go get some toilet paper. Now, let's hope we're not in the wrong location compared to the village. Oh, never mind. We're completely the wrong location located to the village. Let's completely skirt around it. Actually, where's the exits? Oh, come on. Okay, so we're gonna have to skirt around it, then come all the way back around it for the exit. Well, that was a nice way to start the day. Wolves too. Oh, there's a ghoul. There's a dead ghoul. Okay, there it is. There's our valuable package. Nice. Okay, let's get out of here. Okay, do a little bit of looting first. I mean, you can't not do a little bit of looting when you're around here. That's it. I'm done. We've got this quest knocked out. We're gonna go out the way we came in. And get home as quick as we can. Alright, we should be coming up on that annoying red crystal that irradiates the entire area. Yep. I think they're the scientists. I've seen these guys once before, and they didn't try and shoot me on sight. Which is... incredible. Okay. Let's talk. Tell me something. Okay, task. Bye-bye then. Uh, let's see what the other guy has to say. Oh, there he is. I can see him. That's the guy we're looking for. Uh, how are we supposed to get to that guy? Like I, I'm all, no, nope, 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 not a chance. And there's a loot spot right here. So we are going to take what we have been handed, take what is offered, and leave alive. We'll finish this quest another day. All right, Barkeep, we got your uh, very valuable item uh, for the reward. I think we're going to go with the armor repair kit. I mean, the weapon repair kits sound wonderful, but uh, you need different weapon repair kits for different calibers, and uh, I haven't even gone into that too deeply, so we shall gain reward. Perfect. We can repair armor. Well, we will when we actually get some armor. Uh, let's have a look see, actually. What kind of armor do you have available? Hmm. You do have the police armor, but that's going to take 20 hundred, 20 hundred, and we cannot afford that. For right now, I am stockpiling all this stuff. 
I don't know when I'm going to need it or what I'm going to need it for. You. Uh, smoking kills? What's this? Smoking kills, objectives 8, Marlboro cigarettes, 10 matches, 3 lighters, 2 zippos. Yes. Uh, pretty sure I got a bunch of those. Ooh, what's that? Professional med kit. Nice. Or five of the regular med kits? Ooh. Tough choice. Never mind. Let's do the one. The Lost Convoy. Find the Lost Convoy? We lost a co lost contact with the convoy carrying supplies for the bunker. When the transmission stopped, it was in the forest. Go there and find out what happened. We shall accept. Okay, then. Now, this is the thing. You need to keep picking up every single quest you can and doing as many as you can. They give you money and a bunch of other stuff. That kind of keeps you tied it over. Just getting by on looting stuff, it seems most of this stuff you loot actually has uses, so selling it is not great. For our next mission, we've got to loot a corpse. Uh, secret documents. Retrieve these documents. According to this, they're on a body on the north side of the village. And north side of the village is... Wow, okay, there's a... Bunch of radioactive things going on down there. North side of the village is over here, exits over there. This is actually a good start, assuming we don't die horrifically. I mean, over a safe assumption to make, but we can hope and pray. Oh, ghouls. Let's just not get into fights with those. It's a waste of ammo, in my opinion. Oh, there's one. Ow. Yep, he got us. Okay, let's bandage up. Oh, damn it. And I don't know if the other one noticed us yet, but let's just hide for a minute. Whew. Well, that got the blood pumping and we've only just arrived. Let's apply a med kit, though. That guy down there really hurt. I don't know what he was packing. We'll find out when we have a look. But he only hit us once and it basically just obliterated our health. We need better armor. And, of course, it's nighttime and everything's now dark and I can't see anything anymore. Yep, well, there goes that guy. Whew. Yeah, we need to get night vision. Doing this at night is probably a terrible idea. Now, where did I shoot that guy? Okay, what do you got on you? Oh, a screwdriver, yes. Coffee? Hell yes. Can we actually consume that? No, there's going to be some way to utilize it, though. Canned... Okay, a VS-98. Hmm. Bolt action, unfortunately, but... Whatever, let's take it all. Thank you kindly. Okay. Oh, and another thing to... All of these guns, their durability is terrible. This is at 43%, which means it will jam like crazy. Which, you know, shouldn't be possible for a gun like this. Wow, we really should not be attempting this in this dark and night. I can't see a thing. And the only thing I've got as a light is a... This thing here. A All Directions headlamp. Maybe I should have held out for the night vision goggles. This seems like a death sentence, to be honest. I think we just go home. <laughs> we run away. We've already got a few things off that guy. Was it? Yeah, I say we just leg it. It's just too risky doing this at night. I need to come back when there's daylight hours. Ah, okay. I can't believe we made it back here without getting caught. It's the middle of the night. It's pitch black. Can't see a damn thing. Let's head back to the bunker. We'll come back when daylight returns. After taking a nice long nap, we're back at the village. It is 7.03 in the morning, and the sun's just coming up. And we need to find some houses here on the north side that contain what we're looking for. Which means we got to watch out for all sorts of creepy crawlies, nasties, and humans trying to kill us. And not seeing anything. we got to be real careful. We are fragile. We are very fragile. Okay, what do we got? Anyone? Yeah, oh, crud. Well, that sucked. I think I'm gonna have to change my ammo. Use something with a little bit more uh, splat on these creepy crawlies. Also, we should probably bandage up a bit faster and I should stop yakking. Ooh, I can hear something moving near us, but you know what? It's fine. Is that my last med kit? Oh, damn it, I didn't bring any replacement med kits. 
We just have to do this with no extra medical attention. It'll be fine. Yep, I forgot to bring all sorts of medical attention. Let's do this. Okay, first, change ammo. We're gonna change to... Oh, yeah, this stuff. HP. Got a bit of a bonus when it comes to killing organics. We come up against humans, though, it will suck. And... Nothing visible there. And that seemed to work quite quick. Okay, we will loot you. What do you got? Arm and leg. All we wanted. Hey, let me do a quick bit of looting here. Now, according to the soldier guys, we should find a body just lying outside a building. Okay, subtask materials completed. I think that also knocks out something for the train driver guy. There's some good stuff in here. I need to come back here more frequently. Like, this place is very accessible and it's not near the bandits who are absolute death. Like those uh, annoying creatures there, what do you call them? The ghouls? The ghouls we can take. It's the humans that are the problem. And like, the people that live in there, we do not want to mess with them. We want to stay away from them and want to do all our looting. I can hear stompies. It. Let's hope that didn't attract any attention from the humans. Thank you kindly. Quick loot, then scoot. Yeah, we'll reload inside. I don't think they can follow you into buildings, or they haven't so far. So that's my thinking. Go inside a building to do it. Oh, and we're overloaded again. Let's get back out there. Avoid anything that's trying to kill us. Find the body. Still haven't seen anything that looks like a body in front of any of these. Uh, except for the ghouls, of course, but they weren't really bodies when we found them. They were bodies after we finished putting them in. No, not seeing anything. And this is the this is the last north-facing place as well. Hmm. Let me check some things here. Found him. I'm blind. It's this thing here. I probably walked over him a bunch of times, never even noticed. Uh that. Yep, secret documents. Excellent. Map. We need to get to... Oh my god, both of them are down. Like, bottom right. We're going bottom right. Oh, wait, we're overburdened. Time to dump some of this. Oh, but I like it all. You know what? The coffee can go. It's very heavy. Leg it. Don't get caught. Don't get shot. Don't do anything stupid. Stay away from those buildings. They've probably got people guarding them. We do not want to run into people. Run into people. Run into animals. Slightly to the right. Keep going. Keep going. No. I do not like the look of that. Okay, we're almost there. We're almost there. Don't do something stupid like getting yourself shot. Yeah, right here. Oh. Bye-bye, you horrible place. We got exactly what we were looking for. We finished the mission. Yeah, we're gonna get about 4,000 rubles, but it's fine. The mission was all that we are in it for. Mission belongs to the guy, these guys. The Green Army, they're called. Which, you know, because they're the army and they wear green. Anyway, uh, tasks. Secret documents completed. We will gain the reward. Well, which, yeah, is this one. Perfect. And then we'll start on the next task. Oh my god, there's just gonna be so many of these, isn't there? Alright, let's get prepped for the next round. Nighttime kicked in. I played a bunch over the night. Way too late, I might add. Uh, no, no recording was done because you, know, you can't be chatting at that hour of the night. Keep people awake. But uh, I discovered a few things along the way. One thing that was very important was loot boxes. Or not loot boxes, being able to drop a box on the ground. For example, if I just say drop that on the ground right there, then that box stays there and I can come back anytime to pick it up, which is great. But what's even greater is if you go and find, say, the exit point to the map, run to that location carrying a big load of loot, and then instead of leaving, put down a loot box and drop your loot off. Then go back out, scavenge some more and bring it back. If you've just cleared out an area and had lots and lots of gear and you want to sell it all, you can just do multiple trips. So now what we'll do is we'll try picking this all up into our inventory. I have no idea if this is going to work. I think in theory it should. Uh, yeah? Okay. We are now carrying 25.21 kilos of stuff. And we are leaving the map. Yes, I think we're golden. And then when we get to the other side, that's approximately 14,000 rubles.
That is, uh, excellent. We can still walk. I know, we're completely overburdened, but it doesn't matter. You, your weight doesn't matter when you get back here. So now we can do a whole bunch of uh, selling of stuff. Like, just selling off all these guns. I mean, normally we'd have to leave those behind because they weighed way too much, but that's almost two grand of a payout. That is nice. All right, I gotta go do some inventory sorting, but then, then we need to get down to some serious stuff. Well, we're back. It's getting dark, and I need to do some checking here. Wow, that's really annoying when you come in here. Every time you pop the map, it makes that noise. I haven't, I can't find a way to turn it off yet. All right, we are going to go down here and check out this yellow circle. If there's anything good in there, great. No, that is just those annoying red crystals I don't want to deal with. I need to find those scientist cred, though. Uh, there's a mission I need to finish with them, and I need to find some boars. So I'm going to... Ooh, there's the hunter. This guy will kill you. If you're... He has killed me so many times, because you'll just be running through the woods, and he doesn't actually appear in specific locations. He seems to be a wanderer. So, your best bet is to just be careful all the time. But now that he's dead... Where are you? Perfect. He's most dangerous early on, because normally he runs into too many wolves and gets himself killed. But yeah, there's been times I've just been running through the forest, la -di da and then all of a sudden, pop, pop, and you're dead. Oh, excellent. I think we can make a medical facility now with that. And boom. I am. Um, I do not bring a second weapon anymore. I used to, but what I've decided is I can get by with the rifle and it just allows me to carry more. So, with that new loot thingy, loot crate thingy that we can drop behind us, I might actually switch back to carrying two weapons again. Oh, there's the scientist people. How you guys doing? Hey, how you doing? I think that might be the guy there. Is that a corpse? I think that right there is the corpse. Or it might just be more grass. Well, that's a problem. Okay, that's a lot of problems right there. Let's try from this direction. Oh, come on. Oh, interesting. Ooh. Right, how irradiated did we get? Well, that was not good. Let's... Use a quick anti-rad pill that'll take us down to 1.11. Wow, we got heavily irradiated there. Hmm. Pop, damn it. Pop another one. That is... That was a lot of rads. But we finished a mission. All right. Uh, in that case, let's just get out of here. Uh, head straight towards an extraction point, which is all the way on the opposite side of the map. Well, grand. Let's go. I know I'm being super cautious here, but honestly... You could die from just about, like, a split-second mistake can kill you in this. You're far better off the moment you achieve even minor success just leaving. Get get those quests and get them knocked out, because those quests will help us long-term. Oh, one other thing. Uh, since I want to find out where we're going, we're going to actually head over here, add new marker. This is going to put a marker on the map, see that little blue dot? Let's just know where to go so we don't have to keep checking the map all the time and making that annoying map noise. Oh. Yep. Yeah. There's usually two of them around this thing. Let's see where the second one is. Nope, can't find it. Are you drinking water? That's my water. Okay. Let's see if we can locate the second one. I don't want to go in. Ah! Where are you? There's normally two. These things are sort of repeatable. There he is. He's eating crisps. Well, Whew. I think he hit me there. Oh, yeah, perfect. Let's both of them down. Let's reload before we go in. Make sure there's no one else around here first. And this place is slightly irradiated, so let's uh, try and stay on the edge. We've already been heavily irradiated today. In fact, let's just make a quick storage box here to dump this stuff. Just to make sure we've got enough room to take on the other guy. Oh, great. We got heavily irradiated. 1.36. I am burning through anti-rad meds. Those things are not cheap. Uh, actually, we'll hold that. Maybe we can get some milk later on. That'll help sort us out. Okay, we will store some stuff here. We're going to have to come back for this. But I say we leg it further up. We head straight to where we're going. We're almost there. Oh, actually, okay, we're not. But we'll have to come back and do a second run to grab that stuff. What the? I almost missed you. But I didn't. And then we, what we want to do is place a new marker right there so that we can remember to come back for that chest. 
Now, where did I put that guy's corpse? Time for a quick snack of some tin goods. Quick slam of generic cola. And do we have any more water on us? Oh, damn. Okay, let's hope we find some water at some point. Uh, I'm also leaving behind, like, just trails of loot behind us. We're gonna have to come back for all of this at some point. But for now, let's see how much further we gotta go. And keep an eye out for more people that might accidentally shoot us in the face when we're not looking. Now, this guy is great. Once you do this first quest for him, every time you come back, he's got this loot crate. And this loot crate can have just about anything. Like, there's some um, anti-bleed gel. Stuff's hell of expensive. Bullets, a fan. Oh, med kits. Hells yeah. Like, this guy just has all the good stuff. We'll take it all. Uh, we're Actually, are we taking the booze? You know what? We will take the alcohol. Thank you kindly, sir. Every single time you come back here. There is a mission currently to kill him. I have no intention of taking it. One, I would feel bad about it. And uh, we're going to remove that marker. We don't need to come back here. Uh, and we're going to mm. head over that direction. And two, he gives us stuff. So, like, no, I'm not going to kill the old guy in the woods. He's probably John Wick in disguise. You go after him, and next thing you know, he kills you and your entire organization. Ah, we have found the area. We are going to put ourselves down a storage bin. Right. Just chuck it all in there. Every single thing we don't need. There we go. Much lighter. We will be back for you. And the thing is, it makes me kind of nervous doing that, but at the same time, if you die, all that stuff is gone anyway. So, just go for it. Now we just gotta change our map markers and head down to this direction and hopefully not get into any fights along the way. Ooh, let's not go to the green. Where the hell did I put the loot box? God damn it, I can't see it. There we are. Uh, let's pick all this junk up. This is, uh, this is a good haul. I don't know if this is cheating, but bringing back 25 kilos at a time definitely feels like it. 22,000 rubles. This is so much handier when you can use multiple storage things. All right, let's uh, check out what quest we knocked out. I'm trying to remember which one it was. Ah, this one. Sent scientists into the forest to study. You know what? Uh, I think we do want to repair one of our guns. Let's check out our guns at the moment. This one here is at 93% durability. You know what? That is perfectly fine. In that case, we can go with armor repair kit. Excellent. We shall gain the reward. Perfect. Now what other tasks have you got for us? Body parts, the radio tower, and strange crystals part two. Well, I'm gonna go accept all of these. Before we go any further, I should probably cover this little ammo production thing here. Uh, this is something I built a while back, and we're gonna build a medical one now, but this thing produces ammo scrap, which is actually kind of useful for making bullets, but we're not doing that just yet. But we can also build something else. What we want to do is go in here, go to buildings. Wait, wrong one. Ah, here. Go to this section. This here is actually a uh, where we're standing. For example, this is our storage bin. This is the ammo production facility I just showed you. And down here, we're going to put our medical section. Actually, wait, no. Put our medical section over here. So we want to put down... Ah, this thingy, Bob. Bolt here to install. And boom. All right, so medical section. Perfect. However, we still have to build it. To build it, we go over to the crafting section and go under modules. Tier 1, there's only one tier 2 module and that's for storage. We'll come back to that one later. But for now, this is building kit infirmary. And you'll notice we have all the pieces. We just got the light bulb and I think we just got the hydrogen peroxide very, very recently. And I've had these on track items. So that means anytime we're out hunting for resources, the ones that show up in yellow will be, they'll be surrounded by a yellow glow going, you should grab these, you've already tracked these. So we hit craft. And when we pop back out here, we can go into inventory and we've got this Yokomi Bob building kit infirmary one, which we shall use. Uh, the module has been installed correctly and now this appears magically over here. Now, uh, it doesn't actually do anything for us, but what it does allow us to do is go back in here and go to medication. And now we have the option to produce stuff we couldn't before. For example, we can take one bandage, one sterilized bandage, uh, surgical scissors, and a bunch of scrap medicine. Don't don't ask me what scrap medicine is. And we can actually craft ourselves these things, which is really nice. This allows us to do a few extra things. Also, I think we need to be we need to get uh, pharmacist levels up, as in we need to improve our medical skills. One second. That is in here. We have two levels in medicine, one in gunsmithing, and one in cooking. We've actually been finding books, and the books you find allow you to level these things up. Gunsmithing, I'm not sure we're going to be able to find those books anytime soon, but medicine and cooking, it seems, are reasonably common so far. Gunsmithing will probably come later, which is why the only books I pick from quest results are the gunsmithing stuff, so we can craft more ammo types. Anyway, uh, I need to craft ourselves some medicine and maybe sort out our inventory because we have too much junk. This game is very well designed, and I sort of want to point out what I've figured out here, or what I think the game balance or how it's balanced is done. 
When you come in here, you have these options to go to all these locations, and the easiest one is the forest. Now, I've kind of skimmed, I've looked a little bit in here and here just to see what they're like, because curiosity got the better of me. But we're going to stick with this one for the time being, the forest. So when it comes to the forest, you, uh, you end up going around the edges. You can't go into the center because there's a bunch of toughies there that are really, really hard to kill. That's a problem. So you end up basically grinding around the outside to level up and get better. So eventually, you can afford armor, some good a good gun, and, you know, generally having a good time. And the thing is, you can't actually get the armor. You can't find the armor out there. Well, there is airdrops, but we're not going to go over those. And you can't find a better gun. And uh, let's see, if we go in here, for example, if we have a look here, this is our MKM. We could get that from a quest. There is also our... EC-74U, this sort of uh, Kalashnikov AK looking thing. Now those two you can get from quest items. There's also a pistol and a scorpion submachine gun thing you can get, but these two are probably the main ones you're going to get. Now you can find other guns around the place. I found several guns that would have been better than this. However, you can't use them. This is a gun I found earlier. I'll, I'll get back to this one. But you'll see its durability is 35%. Once anything goes below, I want to say 70%, it starts jamming and you're going to have accuracy problems, things like that. It, it's substandard. If it's below 70%, it's it's a death sentence pretty much in a lot of instances. However, you could repair up this gun, right? Well, no. The problem with repairing up it is you can get these weapon repair kits. They're actually not that bad. In fact, you can craft some yourself with a little bit of effort. However, they have a minimum durability, max durability listed there. The weapon has to be above 60% durability or this won't work on it. Which means any weapon you find is useless unless you've got one of the advanced repair kits for them that will take it from below 60% to above 60 Once you get it above 60%, you can use these weapon repair kits on them, and these you can actually find. However, the high-end weapon repair kits come from over here. So if we go under trade, and where is it? Ah, here we go. You can find weapon repair kit, uh, weapon repair kit, and weapon repair kit. There's three of all the types because it actually has to do with different ammunition, uh, ammunition calibers. However, these things cost about 1800, 1500, and 1350. Each one of these will take that weapon you've just found and add 35% to it. So it'll improve its condition by 35%, meaning if I buy one for this, it will put up to 70% durability. Then we can chuck a weapon repair kit on top of that, and it will take it up to, well, another 12%, say 82%. And then throw another one to get it up to 94. So we can actually improve this weapon. However, it costs. 1300 and something, and then you eventually get a weapon. Otherwise, you are literally trapped using only the starting rifle you get and the starting, well, the two starting rifles, the assault rifle and the starting rifle. You can buy other guns. There are people you can trade for to buy guns, but you'll notice in here it's still the, the B BPSH-41, the Curb, the Stalker, and the Makarov. They've also got, such, got some shotguns, and then basically the same guns you've got already, the U version and the EC-74. But the EC-74 costs 21,000 you can just find one lying around the place and probably repair it up for less than that almost. Then you've also got the MKM and the Mosin Nagant. But the Mosin Nagant, you can't get any other way either. You'd have to actually do the same thing with the Mosin Nagant, find it and then apply three repair kits to it to actually get to useful levels. Or you could buy another gun from over here at the Military Trader Guys. Military Trader Guys have, ooh, the F90, which is 2850. They have the shotgun, they have, well, a few other guns here. But all the really good ones, you need to have higher levels with them and they won't sell them to you. Except for maybe the VS-98. But that one you can also find out and about as well. We'll get back to that. So, what I did was I did a little bit of, uh, well, very careful ammo hoarding to try and get my hands on this gun. This is called the ZE Vel. I got this off the boss in level 1, the forest boss. And I managed to kill him by being a little bit sneaky and using really good bullets. For example, you can buy these bullets here. These uh, subsonic bullets. There's... There's actually four different types of bullets for every gun. Well, not every gun. There's four different types of bullets. Some guns only have two. But the main thing is you've got the smooth tops. See these yellow ones? They don't have any black markings on them at all. This is your default version. You see that's got 31 penetration. No other extra bonuses. It's just that's the default ammo type. But then we pop over here. This is more of the same ammo type. This stuff is, I want to say, hollow point. It's got that uh, sort of stripe across it. That strike means it does more damage, so it gets a 16% damage bonus. But because it's a hollow point, it actually has lower penetration. So its penetration is 16, this one's penetration is 31. So these ones work better against hard targets, or sort of average targets, let's say. And these ones work best against soft targets like animals, ghouls, that kind of stuff. Stuff that doesn't have armor. This gets a damage bonus to it, which makes it better. 
Then you've got this stuff, which is pointless. Subsonic ammo. It basically gets a damage reduction and a recoil, uh, a recoil bonus. So it doesn't spray and pray everywhere, so you have less recoil. But honestly, I, I can't see a use for that. Maybe there is one, but I just don't see it. And finally, you've got your armor piercing. This stuff gets a bonus to armor penetration. We're going from, what is it, 31 to 58, meaning it'll tear through heavily armored targets. However, it gets a damage reduction, as in it's 12% less damage. So it's not going to be quite as good, a little bit more recoil, accuracy and stuff like that, but this is good for killing hard targets, heavily armored bosses. So what it is, I saved up 60 rounds of this that I managed to find lying about the place, uh, equipped ourselves up with this thing, the MKM, and then slowly sniped off the bosses and his, and his compatriots from a distance. It took me several attempts, I died a lot. But I eventually killed him and got the boss's weapon, which is this ZZ Vel, which I was really looking forward to. And then it turned out I couldn't use it because its durability was so low, it kept jamming all the time. And then I had to figure out that, yes, you can't use any weapons bar your few starting ones because it costs an enormous amount of money to buy anything and any of the weapons you find are absolutely useless. Oh, and if you want to make repair kits for them, that's fine. Let's go over here to the crafting bench. Let's make a repair kit for these things. And there is a weapon repair kit. Unfortunately, gunsmith level 3. Okay, so theoretically you could get gunsmithing level 3 and repair your weapon yourself, right? No. <laughs> you can't repair your own weapon yourself because to get gunsmithing level 3, the only way to get the, uh, the books is to do missions for the barman and the soldier. Uh, to do the barman's missions, we're slowly grinding through them, but honestly, you'd be on level two before he'd give you the third book. And the army guy requires you to go in and take out a base, was it a sawmill? And the sawmill is full of people, which means you need a better gun and better armor to attack it. So to get the armor, we need money, and to get the money, we need a better gun, so that we can consistently kill people. To get a better gun, we need money. Uh, so either you go with better armor, which we could buy right about now. Let's see what armor they've got. Like. We have 30,000. Uh, this is good armor, hunter armor. But we can't afford it because it's 36,000. And we can't afford this four seat, whatever. We can't afford this either because it's 34,000. But what we can afford to do is get a better gun. So I think what we're going to do is get a better gun and use that better gun to hopefully kill more enemies so that we have a better time of it. Yeah, give me a minute. 9 by 39 weapon repair kit will cure 35% of condition. Yes, we will spend 15,000. Oh, that hurt. All right. Uh, nope, nope, nope. You can go out of there. You can go in there. And we can use you. It, ha it only applies to the weapon that's in your actual slot up here. So it's your active weapon slot. So we will use it on that. And now its durability has gone up to 70%. Excellent. Then we shall use this on it. Oh, actually it doesn't match the caliber. Damn it. I need to find something that matches this caliber. Give me a minute. We're in the forest. We've equipped ourselves with our ZZ Vel, which is up to 82% durability. We've brought along 180 rounds of ammunition. Now let's take this thing for a spin. Oh, I should probably reload it first. Yep, that worked. Anyone else? Where are you? Oh, 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 oh. Come here. Damn it. Ooh, this thing burns through ammo pretty quick. Come here, buddy. Where are you going? Hey. Another one bites the dust. Dear lord, this thing is awesome. How many is out here? Still, this thing shreds. I gotta put a scope on it, though. Or uh, at least a dot sight. Damn it! Stop moving! Stay still for a second, I don't want to waste bullets, I'm burning through them too quick. And you guys are probably not worth all the ammo I'm extending. Fine, you know what, let's just spray and pray a bit. Come here. Another one bites the dust. Where are you? Where are you? There's another one around your corner. Done. And I will admit, I need an extended mag for this. But that we can worry about in a minute. For now, let's just revel in the destruction. This thing shredded this guy. I don't think we even took a hit. Right. Uh, let's loot him and scoot. Oh, this is the convoy I've been looking for. Quest, the lost convoy completed. Right. 
in that case, uh, we're gonna loot everyone and go. That is, in fact, there's the, the green thing over there. I was actually securing an exit. I was gonna go in and kill the main boss on the map, but... Hell, if we've got this already done, we might as well just get out of here. Uh, how are we looking on money and resources? Actually, wow, we play through the ammo pretty quick, but I'm liking this thing so far. So, here's the plan. We're gonna go in, we're gonna go to the village, we're gonna clean it out, kill the boss again, and take their ZZ Vel and basically make a lot of money out of it. First, what I want to do is go down here and actually, ooh, maybe over here would be better. Clear the clear the exit. Actually, down here, yeah. We'll clear the exit from here up to here. Then we'll go in and clear out the enemies. So, let me just run around for a bit here, cleaning out the... Uh, there might be nothing between us and the extraction point, but it's better to know that before you start than find out when you're going to the extraction point after doing everything that's just a whole bunch of wolves or boars or ghouls or god knows what between you and where you want to get out. So the easy milk run you've got you having have to the extraction point suddenly turns into you dying after putting in so much effort. Okay, we're coming up on the edge of the town and this is where it normally gets all sorts of hairy. They're in there. And we want to be super careful here. Where are you? Come on. Normally in there somewhere. Nope, no one there. Huh. I know you're here. Come on out. We don't want to go running around the corner. Our armor is tinfoil still. So. That should scare them up. One down. And the question is where do their friends decide to come from? They might try flanking us, they might come out, try coming out the front door. Wow, that's a lot of radiation. Come on, anyone here? Damn it! I messed that one up. We might not get another chance like that. Where is he? I don't see him. Alright, time to rotate. Those guys will flank you if you're not careful. They are very annoying that way. No one at the rear. Suspicious. Have it in water. Have it in hell. Okay, doke. That's two down. Was that actually one of them, or was that the hunter? Damn it, that might have been the hunter. I don't know. <laughs> Gotta be super careful. Here's a ghoul over there. Okay, so that way they can't come from. Don't get any closer. Those guys will pop out and put bullets straight in your face. Oh my god. I hate dealing with this because at a certain point you have to commit. And it is just death if you've messed up and picked the wrong moment or the wrong time. Or they're waiting around the corner for you. Damn it, where are you? Raging psychopaths and they're in here somewhere. Nothing. Seriously? You give me the heebie jeebies. There's two of them dead. There he is. Got him. That's another one bites the dust. Was that the boss? Okay, okay, okay. Don't mess it up. Don't don't get confident. Don't get cocky. Be cautious. One mess up and we're dead. <laughs> okay, okay. This is why this gun is so good. Kills him quick. Where are he is? I think we got a lot of them, but... We need to explore. We need to be 100% sure. 
Yeah, there's at least four of them down, and the guy outside the door is a hunter. Okay, so the guy outside the door was a hunter, and wasn't one of the bad guys. So you got one, you got two. Pretty sure that's the boss man. Le Lazar, yeah, that's Lazar. So that's only three. Where's the fourth guy? There should be a fourth one. There's like three goons, and then Lazar is like the big bad. Fine, you know what? Let's start looting, and then get out of here. Now, the reason Lazar is so good, or laser, this carries the ZZ Zell, Bell. You managed to kill him the last time by bringing along a, 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 a gun with armor-piercing ammo. That was the only way we downed him, and it was dangerous. Ooh, there's the key. Yep, we'll grab all that, that stuff. Thank you kindly. That's some good looting right there. Subtest, smoking kills, complete part two. Wait, what? I don't think so. Did we get a golden zippo? I think we have to get a golden zippo for that. Oh no, we just picked up some Wilfron cigarettes. Okay, let's be cautious here, just in case there's someone waiting around the corner. I swear to God, I put a bunch of bullets right in his face. Scope. Is the scope did us in? God damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! You can see that line? Yeah, that's where it's supposed to go. Okay, we need to, like, be super careful here. Damn it, should we just run? Nah, I, I'm gonna risk it. I'm probably gonna die, but I don't care. Seriously? Okay, I feel like I'm just wasting bullets now. Okay, that guy must have been trapped in the wall. Still scared the absolute bejesus out of me, though. Oh, okay, let's make a loot crate out here. We're gonna have to carry all the junk and pulp it here. Yeah, I'll skip this forward a bit. You see, what you've got in here is the police station. And this is a very lootable building. Uh, we've got... Where is it? We can open up this back thing here. And there's a bunch of loot crates back here that are... Oh. Let's just start. This is what we started with. I'll show you what we end with. After looting the entire police station, we've come away with a bunch of weapon parts and a gunsmith book. That should bring us up to level two. Excellent. That one means we can craft better ammo. I want to be able to create craft am armor piercing ammo for this thing. That should make it hella deadly. In fact, I wanted to use just used exclusively the ZZ Vel if at all possible. Oh, it's going to be so much money we're going to be able to sell all this junk for. We're going to have to make multiple runs to bring it all back, though. Uh, which is a good thing we cleared the route all the way back. All right, let me start doing a few rotations. Ooh, I forgot loot. Well, we can't be doing that. What's that noise? Oh, no. I think that's an airdrop. That drops something. It drops a cargo thing on the map, and it's got the potential to contain armor. But where did it actually drop? I can't see it. This is extraction. So this is where the... Bleh, the red thingy is. This is where our extraction point is. Extraction point, and that's your man who does the thingy me what's it. I don't know where the, um... The actual airdrop occurred. Damn it, I'm gonna have to do more research on that because they can contain, potentially contain armor, which is the one thing we desperately want. All right, let's head to extraction point. Well, we made it out. 55,000 rubles worth of stuff. Um, in fact, the problem was our inventory couldn't store anything else. We had to leave some stuff behind. That was, uh, that's a first. Now, I'm curious to see how much these things sell for. How much would you pay for just a ZZ? Eight grand. Oh, wow. That's, um, that's good. Yeah, we'll, we'll take it. I mean... Thing is, its durability is 39%. That's the same way we got our starting one, so it's pretty terrible. Uh, EZ-74, two grand. Uh, EMC, four grand. Ooh, that one was coming with a bunch of add-ons and stuff. Trader does not have enough ruples. Where's the trader's ruples? God damn it. Uh, all right, so I suppose we hang around here and, or trade the other traders, or do they have, I think they have a combined pool. This is the first time I've ever actually forced them out of money. I didn't know that was possible. Uh, let's see. Can you buy this? Augury. 
Okay, what if we do a trade where I try and buy armor? Hmm. Let me do some fiddling. Oh, this is what I mean about being trapped with particular weapons. These are the only fully durable weapons that you're going to get offered during the, your playthrough. The MKM, the e EC-74U, and the shotgun, the spider, all those, and the DTS. These are the only ones you get offered from quest items. Well, there's actually a couple of smaller ones, but these are the only really realistic ones you're going to get offered that are any good. And the only way to get a weapon so that you pick up off an enemy to any state of usefulness is to get your hands on one of those repair kits. It's going to set you back between 12,000 to 15,000. So there's a big question here as to what's more efficient. Is it better to actually go and immediately spend all your money on buying a bag? Like buying a proper bag like this can increase the amount of loot you can buy. But I'm thinking with that zip back and forth technique, dropping a temporary storage container, that might actually just be faster because the moment you get the gun, things open up. Oh, and I should probably do a, a playthrough one time where, or do a demonstration one time where we actually kill that boss using just a normal MKM rifle and some armor piercing ammo. I just don't have any armor piercing ammo for it right now. Oh, I, I think we'll be able to craft some at some point. Anyway, I'm going to cut this out here for a bit, and I think what I'm going to do in the background is do a few more runs of cleaning out that boss. I'm going to clean out that boss a bunch of time and make just obscene amounts of money. Because right now, we've got five grand in that, we've got three grand in that, and another four grand in that. We can clear at the traders probably tomorrow, and then by the time that's done, I'm going to have even more equipment. We're going to stop going for money and going for actually knocking at the bill. You know... I'll leave that for the next episode. I uh, yeah. hope you enjoyed it. Good luck. Where is our bad ammo? Yeah, well, should have known.